Hello and welcome to Grady News Source. I'm Catherine Ellis, your anchor for tonight, and I'm here with Austin Lauferswiler, president elect of SGA. And just going to ask him a couple questions about the plans he has ahead. So, Austin, um, can you just tell me a little bit about the campaign trail and um, just what were your takeaway experiences from that? Absolutely. So, we started talking about the campaign probably November. Um, it's a big operation and it takes a lot of preparation. So, uh, we took a couple months really deciding uh, what our vision was, what we wanted to do, and why we wanted to do this. So, in about January, uh, things really started to come together. Our platform was falling into place and we, we came up with the name Embark. Um, Embark to us meant starting on a journey. Um, you know, every student has a journey here at UGA, be it there four years or, or more. Um, the, the University of Georgia has been on a journey since 1785. Um, and then we're about to start a new journey with the new president of UGA. Uh, as Provost Moore had ascends to the presidency. So we had one week where we were just mainly pushing on social media. Um, last week was our big campaign week. Voting opened uh, and we were out on campus uh, campaigning with all different kinds of methods. Um, and I, you know, campaigning, it's something I've done in the past several times. This year, it was just a lot of fun. Um, I had an amazing team. I love my running mates and uh, it's, I'm just so glad that I had the experience um, and, and it was definitely life-changing. Good. Well, I'm so glad to hear that it was such a great experience. Were there any topics that came up like along the campaign that kind of people stuck on, like some of your platforms? Were there just certain things that people um, really responded to? Uh, I definitely. So we are attempting to take on the issue of the withdrawal policy at UGA. So as you probably know, each student gets four withdrawals with passing. If you withdraw from a class four, four, more than four times, it's automatically with fail. So uh, this conversation was actually started by administrators and uh, they want to look into the policy, uh, analyze the research, and really see if it's fulfilling the purpose that it was created for. And right now, that does not seem to be the case. So we believe that it is in the student's best interest to either expand that withdrawal limit or eliminate it altogether. So that's definitely one of those issues. And we also want to create a business professional attire lending closet. So this is a service that would be ongoing, uh, provided by SGA that would provide professional business attire to students free of charge uh, as a renting service. So a lot of people caught on to this. I think there's a great need for it on campus as people uh, enter the job market and you know they have more interviews, they will have the resources they need to be competitive after college. Great, yeah, I think that is such a creative idea. Um, it's a really good one. Thank you. Um, so, okay, as you look forward, what are you just the most excited about to be SGA, SGA president? <laughs> That's a tough question to answer, um, and I've been thinking about what this next year is going to entail a lot um, since Friday. And you know, in, in chronological order, it, it's really going to be first uh, w picking a staff, uh, appointing positions. I, I'm really excited about the team that we, will, that we will have this year. We're looking to make some big changes in the way SGA is structured uh, and find the best people possible for those roles. So those applications will roll out this week. They'll be due next week and we'll be holding interviews shortly after. And hopefully we will have assembled an amazing team uh, to really carry out the, the initiatives of SGA. So definitely the staff I'm looking forward to. Um, this platform was built out of passion and our belief that there is a strong need for it on campus. So I'm really excited to carry out the platform. Um, we've already had several uh, very productive meetings with administrators and they seem very willing and excited to work with us as well. So I, I think more than anything, it's we want this administration, uh, our administration to be a cooperative effort. And I think that's what it's gonna be based on our conversations with students, administrators, and then our personal desires to really work together with people. So more than anything, I see this being a huge collaborative effort. Great. Well, that's like so good to hear that administrators um, are willing to work with the students. I guess on that note, um, with the change, can you talk um, a little bit about Moorhead and kind of what do you think that that change looks like for SGA, like have you all spoken a lot with him? Absolutely, and, and that's one of the most exciting things. During the campaign, uh, we used the phrase new president, new precedent a lot because we wanted this year to set a precedent for the relationship with students and administration and build really strong connections. 
We met with Provost Moorhead last Thursday and had a great meeting. He expressed a lot of the same desires that we have, which are to work together to hold more regular meetings. Um, I, we've already been in email correspondence and he's talking about setting up the next meeting and th that's, that's a, incredibly exciting for us because he seems very willing to work with students. Um, and I think it's gonna be a really great year working with him. Good, that's so great. Um, well, have you all spoken a lot with the Athletic Association? I know that some of your platform had to do um, with different football postseason right. tickets and things like that. Um, have you talked to them at all? Yeah, we, we have spoken with uh, representatives from the Athletic Association, and our understanding is that um, the, the kind of program that, that we were looking to implement, which is some kind of point system where students could attend different athletic events and uh, would be incentivized to do so, by receiving some kind of um, way to receive postseason tickets or benefits in their football experience. Um, and, and this is something that they're, they've been looking into and we're looking to partner with them on. So I believe that this is the direction that, you know, that we will be moving and we, we've received positive feedback about it and that, that many more conversations will result from that platform point. But I, I think we've got a solid uh, framework to make that happen. Gotcha, so it's a point system. Yes, type thing. exactly. Okay, great. Um, so of all of your platforms, um, which one, like, which of them are maybe the most feasible or which ones are you gonna attack first? Um, that, that's a good question. Um, you know, so something like the Business Professional Attire Lending Closet, because it's a service run by SGA, it's, it's gonna be largely in our control. So as long as we have the people for it, we will seek the funding for it, which may be a, a bigger task than we anticipate. Um, but, but that will largely be you know, the work of SGA, something like the withdrawal policy that will depend on university council and various faculty members and administrators, that is gonna be more of a challenge and we'll, we will hopefully see success a, a little further down the road and, and we will you know, start researching and working on that policy as soon as we can, but that's something we would probably see results for later on. Um, we also have talked about a, a bike rental program. Um, various um, bike share programs and whatnot have been attempted on campus or there have been conversations about them but we're looking to have some kind of rental program where students can rent for a semester or for an entire year a bike um, so that they don't have to purchase an expensive bike. And, and you know, for me, my ability to bike to campus would depend on my class schedule, something that changes from semester to semester. And, and sometimes it's just not feasible. So we want to give students that option. Uh, and I think this bike rental program will let them do that. And thank goodness there are so many different bike agencies around Athens and that the culture in Athens is one of strongly supporting alternative mm -hmm. transportation. So I think Definitely. that the resources are in place for us to do that. Good, that's great. Um, okay, so I'm sure you've maybe gotten this question a couple times, but I know that SGA can kind of get lost in the mix of student life. So what um, you kind of talked about in your platform um, a cultural change on campus, a status quo, like creating a different status quo. Right. What does that look like tangibly? Tangibly, I, I think that it's, it's going to be, when, and tangibly it's going to be unity. And it is going to be SGA hopefully facilitating various meetings with other organizations with similar purposes. That's how I see it. Um, SGA is, is kind of designed as a governing body, but we look at it as a, a body of facilitation. Um, we want to make things easier for other campus organizations, and we see so many um, really passionate philanthropies on campus. And we've talked to a few members of those philanthropies and said, you know, would it be helpful to sit down with the, the members of organizations similar to yours mm -hmm. and maybe reduce over programming by saying, here's our calendar, you know, these, this is when our events are going to be, let's plan things so that they're not on top of each other and we can get maximum attendance at all of our events. So having that kind of cooperation between organizations and, and allowing SGA to facilitate those conversations I think is going to be very helpful. And the feedback that we've gotten so far is, is a willingness to do that. Um, a great example of this as well as sustainability groups. We see a lot of really passionate sustainability groups on campus, but we want to provide some kind of umbrella for them to work 
under so that they can cooperate. And if we do it through SGA, it's institutionalized so that hopefully in years to come, this cooperation will still be there. Great. But lastly, um, when do you officially become SGA president? So our inauguration is uh, two weeks from today. So uh, soon. yeah, it, it is very soon. Um, very excited about that. And we're starting the transition process now. I've been working closely with President Will Burgess. And uh, he's already forwarding me the emails and saying, well, this is your problem now. <laughs> so so um, it, it's very exciting. Um, but uh, the work is just beginning, and it's going to be a long year. But we're so excited for it. And I think great things are going to come from SGA. Good. Well, it sounds like you're off to a good start. Um, anything else you'd like to add? Um, I, I just say be on the lookout. Um, SGA is really going to uh, try to play a role in student life that it has not played before. Um, and I think that we're capable of doing that. We will be as transparent and available as possible. Um, there will be many more oppor opportunities for students to voice their opinions to SGA and we want to be a very strong advocacy body for students and I think that we are going to set ourselves up to do that. So, you know, I would say to the students, if they have an issue that they care about, be, you know, we're prepared to listen and we will seek you out, but if for some reason we miss you, please feel free to come to us and we're going to open those channels as much as possible. Great. Well, it sounds like you have a great journey ahead of you. Thanks so much. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you. Um, tune in tonight at 5 o'clock um, for a Grady News Source.